Like most portrait photographers, I sometimes will use a seamless R fabric backdrop for my portraits. Now, if you're going to use a seamless roll, especially, you've got to use some kind of a crossbar that extends from one background stand to the other. Now, this is the one that I've been using for quite a while and I've been really happy with it. Uh, yeah, happy with it up until the point that it broke, that it stopped working, and now I can't adjust it at all. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, each of these bars here, each of these sections collapses into the next. Now, uh, if you twist and turn, you're supposed to be able to loosen the sections and either extend it or collapse it. Uh, these sections are jammed up and they don't move anymore. So I can still load a roll of paper onto this, but uh, especially with my short rolls, uh, it's just gonna be too long. And that's very inconvenient because if I'm using this in a space where I need these background stands to be closer together, it's just not gonna work. It has to be this distance. These things have to be this distance from each other because this thing is not adjustable anymore. Now the size rolls that I use, the length of the rolls on the crossbar uh, are either nine feet or something that's about four and a half feet. I know it's under five feet. This thing will not extend now to fit my nine foot roll and it's too long for my short roll. So after being frustrated with this situation for a while, I said, you know what, I gotta get another crossbar because I keep running into problems or this is just inconvenient for me. And so I said, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna run into this again. I don't wanna run into a situation where uh, my crossbar just jams up because it's, it's one of these telescoping ones. Uh, so I said, you know, why don't I get one of those sectional ones where uh, it's just individual bars that you just snap in and add on to depending on the length that you need. So I went out and bought a ProMaster brand version of uh, the crossbars uh, that are sectional that you just uh, click into each other and make uh, a length, either a short length or a longer length. And I'll tell you right now that I had some problems. I don't know if these problems are specific to the ProMaster version or if they're just, uh, if these are the same kind of problems that you'll experience with other brands. But uh, for one, this kit's sections don't lock, okay? They're free to slip from uh, being in the so-called locked position. Uh, so uh, that, I ran into problems with that once I slipped it, uh, you know, a length of this stuff into uh, a long roll and the, the, uh, the section in the middle just kind of separated. So my solution for that was to just stick some gaffer tape on there to kind of hold it in place. Uh, but obviously that's, that's kind of janky. Uh, another problem that I ran into was that the links that you can configure aren't actually suited to either of the size rolls that I normally use. Okay. So uh, if I'm uh, putting enough length uh, together for the short roll, it's, it's actually too long uh, on either side. I can't configure it to where it's just the right size. It's just too long on, on each side. If I'm using it on the long roll and I don't want to extend uh, it out, in other words, I don't want to use all the sections on there for the long roll, I just want just enough, it ends up being just too short, which is really weird. I don't know why these guys couldn't have made each of these sections just a little bit longer or found some other solution for this, but it's just, just a little too short for those longer rolls. And what ends up happening is that uh, even though it will fit somewhat, uh, once it's on the stand, that paper is going to get crinkled and caught uh, because it's just up too close to the stands. And maybe the most alarming problem, I mean, you know, visually, is when you uh, put all the sections together and extend this thing all the way. Uh, I believe it's uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 feet. But once you put the whole thing together, uh, this thing bows and sags quite a bit. Uh, that does not look or feel very stable. And uh, that was really uh, another disappointing aspect of this. Obviously, that background crossbar solution was not going to work for me. So I ended up taking it back. And in exchange, I got the ProMaster telescoping version of their crossbar. And uh, yeah, you know, even though I'm a little apprehensive about uh, dealing with whatever uh, crazy mechanisms in here that might jam up, uh, it, they're just way more convenient than the uh, you know snap together type crossbar uh, because I'm able to adjust these to any size and that's really important to me. So let's get rid of this. Place it here. Just a simple twist. 
and lock it back up and we're good to go. All right, you know me, you know I like being diplomatic and open-minded and uh, I tried to come up with a good reason uh, for why anyone would want to buy uh, that other version of this crossbar and uh, honestly I couldn't think of one. It was just so disappointing the way that it it just seemed unstable. It did, just everything about it just seemed wrong to me. Uh, again, I don't know if, if every brand has that same uh, those same issues, but this one certainly did. And so, yeah, I, there was no way I was going to keep that. And it's likely that I would be really hesitant to purchase any brand's version of a sectional type crossbar at this point. For now, I'm happy to stick with these telescoping versions. Uh, if something happens to go wrong with it, then I'll just deal with it. Uh, I'd rather have the convenience of the, you know, fully adjustable length. Uh, and uh, one thing that I will do is I have a suspicion that the other crossbar broke or, or jammed up because I left it almost fully extended for a long period of time with a heavy roll of paper on it, and I mean weeks. Uh, and I think that that might have helped jam things up. Uh, so what I'm going to do from now on with uh, crossbars like this is I'm not going to fully extend them. I'm not going to take this thing, you know, to the to the very end of that mechanism and lock it really tight. I'm just going to somewhere in just short of that, I think will be okay. And when I do lock it, I'm not going to lock it super tight. I'm just going to just enough to have it secure. And uh, and then I think we'll be good to go. I think if I take good care of this crossbar, it should last a while. Uh, but hey, if you've got a suggestion or a recommendation on a good crossbar solution, please drop that in the comments below. And if you feel that I have offered anything to you in terms of uh, like what not to buy, uh, you know, or pointing you in the right direction, if you've been looking for a crossbar solution, uh, at least on which style to buy, uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know uh, that you appreciate the video. Uh, it warms my heart. Otherwise, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Uh, again, leave me a comment. I think that's about all I've got for you today, guys. See you next time.